what will it be like to act and interact with robots in the future? Now these aren't normal robots. These aren't the robots that are building your cars, or these aren't the robots that are cleaning your floor. These are the robots that are meant to be social. They're meant to be social with you. And so that's what Jimmy's really meant to do. Is we've designed him to be an open source, 3D printable robot. And so he's kind of following me around. And we've also got Andrew Alta here from Trossum Robotics who's partnered with us to build this. The idea with Jimmy is that you can buy the kit. He's actually, this one's powered by a core i5. You can buy the kit for his endoskeleton, and then you can download the files to design the outside, and you can 3D print those. And we'll let Jimmy introduce himself. I'm Jimmy the Robot. I'm a two-foot tall, high-end humanoid research robot. I was made in just two weeks using open source software and applications, as well as a 3D printer. So the idea behind Jimmy and the idea behind the 21st Century Robot Project is that every robot has a name. And every robot has a name because every robot is designed by an individual. We think that everybody should be able to imagine, design, and build their own robots. And These are not the droids you're looking for. That's our geek test for those who smile. Got that. And the idea is that you can program him using apps. So that because he's personalized, you can use your smartphone, your laptop, or your two-in-one to be able to download apps onto him and actually program them. You don't have to know how to program in C++. You can actually just download apps. And so our dream is that we can start getting more people building robots. We think that in the 21st Century Robot Project, the more people we get designing robots, the more fun it will be. And really it's our goal to get kids to design robots. And that's really the dedication that we have for this project is that we think that we want to dedicate this project to anybody born after the year 2014. Wow, there are a lot of people here. And the idea behind that is that today we have an entire generation of young minds who have never known a time when there wasn't the internet. We have an entire generation of kids who have never known a time when they couldn't walk up to a screen, ask that screen for information, and get it in under a second. And the things that they come up with are absolutely amazing because they're not burdened by the past. We dedicate this project. There are a lot of people here. So he will also do this the whole time. I also do realize that when the robot talks or walks around, that nobody's paying attention to me. I could do anything and you all will not listen to me. So the idea though is that if we get this project right with the 21st Century Robot Project, that anybody born after the year 2014 will be the first generation who has never known a time when you could imagine, design, and build your own robots. We imagine a world where robots are even more ubiquitous than the internet. And we can't wait to see what other people are gonna build. And that's really what we're trying to do here at Intel is give people that platform. Give people the platform to give into the design of these robots, how they look, and their apps. And that's why we partnered with Trosson Robotics to sell you the kit. So you can actually go right now and buy the kit for Jimmy, download him, download the files for his shell, and print them out. If you have a chance, this is the core i5 version. We also have another version that's powered by Intel Edison. And the Intel Edison version is a little bit smaller, but it's the same thing. We're getting as many people being able to design these robots as possible.